This is the Osmo Action 3. This is Dubai and I'm hotter than the sun. Let's see what DJI's flagship action camera can actually do in the real world. Is this the real world? So the Osmo Action 3 from DJI has been on the market now for about seven or eight months. But with the newly installed firmware update improving image quality and with 10-bit color and 10-bit HDR video recording, it places the Action 3 alongside the best of the best, like the GoPro Hero 11. So I'm going to try and film most of this video using the Osmo Action 3, so you get a sense of just how good this camera can be, not only as an action camera, but also as a vlogging camera. We're gonna throw some tough conditions at this thing, wind, heat, water, speed vibration, and of course, looking at the most most important thing, image quality and image stabilization, which is a prerequisite for any action camera worth its salt on the market today. So while we're on the subject of image stabilization, we have five options. Off is of course no stabilization, but this will give you the widest field of view that your sensor will offer. And let's see how it handles just walking. Not bad. So next up is Rocksteady and Rocksteady Plus. I do like the sound of that. Rock steady, cool. Right, let's go for a run and see how steady these look side by side. So as you can probably tell, Rocksteady Plus does punch in quite a bit on that frame. I personally prefer the slightly wider angle to include more of your surroundings, but you know, if you're wrestling a big brown bear or riding on a bumpy road, Rocksteady Plus is probably your best bet. And then we have what's called horizon balancing, which funnily enough, keeps everything nice and level, even up to a 45 degree angle. As you can see, I'm throwing this way out of line and it just keeps everything nice and level, particularly useful if you're not into that sort of FPV run and gun style of shooting. Hey team. I'm here in Dubai and this is Danielle Lockwood. She's a professional skate coach and I've just been following around this park and I'm absolutely puffed out. Uh, she's making my video look much better than it otherwise would be. So we're just gonna do some tricks, use this uh, Action 3 and see what it can do. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see the end result, all of the footage. <laughs> she's been living here for a couple of months and uh, just getting used to this heat, it's like, what is it like half past eight in the morning it's probably 33 34 At degrees least. right now yeah um, so we've got to do it early so we can get it done before it gets really hot at 11 o'clock i'm dripping so, already i know <laughs> Now, two of the biggest selling features of the Action 3 on the DJI website is battery life and cold temperature operation. Now, as you've already seen in this video, I was shooting a lot of footage in the extreme heat of the desert. The Action 3 handled 30 frames per second well, but shooting at 120 frames per second, I did overheat it a number of times. But we are talking about 40 degrees Celsius, which is probably the highest temperature you're ever gonna film in. And more often than not, I was shooting in direct sunlight. However, shooting in extreme cold, you're probably never gonna run into problems with the Action 3 because of the low of minus 20 degrees Celsius operating temperature. Now the battery life is a big deal on the Action 3, a documented 160 minutes from one single battery charge. Now this is a bit arbitrary depending on your shooting conditions and your frame rate, but if you have the battery holster and the two extra batteries, you can pretty much shoot all day long and never worry about running out of juice. Charging times are also exceptional. 18 minutes gets you up to 80% power, which roughly gives you, what, two hours worth of filming. Exceptional performance. So 
So let's look at the interface for a moment. On the back is a really nice screen, guys. Like this a lot. Nice and big and bright. And if we compare it to, say, the Insta360, I'd say the Action 3 is just ever so slightly bigger. More importantly, how the user interface works and responds to you is key. I never even bothered to read the user manual. I just instinctively knew how it worked. It feels very intuitive. Action camera is all about capturing fleeting moments. You've got to be ready. You've got to know how it works. And the Action 3 just works. And nice loud clicks so you know when an input's been registered. Or you can just switch them off like you can switch off the LEDs if you're trying to be discreet. So the touchscreen on the front is obviously much smaller in comparison to the one on the back to accommodate for that camera. It does give you all of the necessary data you require for vlogging style shots and you can choose whether that screen is filled with a cropped image or go with the 16 by 9 aspect ratio which makes everything much smaller and I have to say the touchscreen is a bit redundant. It's not very responsive unless you've got dainty little fingers. I'd stick to applying camera settings on the back with that nice big screen. So let's talk about audio. The inbuilt microphones are positioned at the front of the camera flanking the logo. And audio recording is actually pretty decent on this camera. However, it's a very windy day down here at the beach in Dubai. And depending on the direction of the wind, you're probably gonna find it difficult getting clean audio. However, there is a solution. So if you want to use this camera as a vlogging camera, then they've got you covered with the DJI mic, which you've probably seen me using in this video already. And it happens to be cross-platform with the Osmo Action 3. It plugs directly into the side using the USB-C port, and then you can get nice clean audio if you've got the windsock on. So this is the inbuilt audio coming directly from the camera versus the DJI microphone strapped to my chest. So as well as the standard video modes like 10-bit 4K up to 120 frames per second, we also have 10-bit HDR video capture. We have hyperlapse and time-lapse, which can be captured either as video or as raw stills photography, which is something I prefer to do in Lightroom and then import it into my video software. Or if you just want standard stills photography, then you have a choice of either JPEG or raw DNG files, which produces some stunning captures. The build quality is beautiful. DJI have really thought about this camera and knocked it out of the park, starting off with this magnetic base attachment for the grip. It just makes sense. You could attach this thing behind your back with your eyes closed. Love it. And guess what? With the popularity of social media content creation, DJI has you covered there with the portrait mode connector on the cage, which when filming something that won't fit into the frame, this is a pretty useful and clever addition to the Osmo Action lineup. In a split second, you can be off of one grip and onto another, like a helmet or a chest harness. No messing around with thumb screws. Again, action cameras are about capturing a moment. You don't want to be wasting precious time with connectors or worrying about whether it's a safe connection. These clips are made of metal. Even if one of those clips is attached, it's not coming off. Brilliant. All of the little doors to the battery compartment and the USB-C ports are reassuringly solid. The Action 3 has a scuba diving waterproof depth of up to 14 meters without the dive case. That's four meters more than you get with the GoPro Hero 11. It's pretty impressive. The protective frame that comes as standard with the Osmo Action 3 it's a triumph. Not only does it have that portrait mode connector for those social media content creators, it's very easy to get the camera in and out of without breaking a fingernail like the competition. Now, if you look closely at the logo on the front of the camera, you'll notice something odd about the O in action. Ooh, what is that? Some kind of spy cam. Wouldn't that be cool? It's actually a white balance sensor, so you can be guaranteed of getting perfect temperature in your footage. And if you're concerned about using auto white balance, you can simply take a temperature gauge using that thing on the front and then lock in the Kelvin values with the manual settings. Pretty neat.
So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my epic trips around Dubai and London with the Osmo Action 3. It's a very impressive action camera, producing some stunning footage in a variety of frame rates and media aspect ratios for professional filmmakers through to social media content creators. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more photography content, and I'll catch you next time.